Hi, brothers and sisters and friends. I pray that you all are doing well today. It is July 22nd, 2016. Okay, so um, I'm coming to you with, uh, with the word. Yay, finally. So um, I was really bothered because lately I felt like I just, I haven't received much of anything from the Lord, that He has been quiet. Um, I haven't been getting, like, because before I, would, I was getting visions and dreams, and I know that some YouTubers, some brothers and sisters that I follow, that I watch, um, they have been, the Spirit of God has just been all over them, and he has just been pouring out his love and his, you know, his, he's just given them so, so many dreams. And I'm like, wow, you know, and I was like, God, well, how come I'm not receiving anything? Because, you know, we all have, um, we're all going through different seasons. You know, we all have a different journey and a different walk. No one's walk is going to be the same. We are all on different levels, you know, but it doesn't matter what level that we are on. God's love for us doesn't change. His love for me is just the same as his love for you and his love for the other person. You know, he loves us all equally. He doesn't favor anyone. He loves us all. So, and that's comforting to know that, you know, because I'm like, man, you know, all these people are getting visions and dreams, but God, I haven't received much of anything. So what did I do wrong? And I'm looking at myself and I'm blaming certain sin that I fell into, you know, but I, I repented from it. And, you know, because the enemy can get into our minds and say, oh, well, it's because of this, you know, and, but God isn't like that, you know, so it's just a, a season of rest, you know, and so, um, when I said, I will not give up though, because you're the word of God, your word that you spoke says, those who will seek shall find if you ask you shall receive, and if you knock, the door will open. So well, in the Word of God, there it, it gives an example of um, this person who is knocking on the door for some bread. <laughs> and, and, like, I guess this person's hungry, and he wants to eat, and he's knocking on the door, and it's in the middle of the night, and where you're, like, in that deep sleep. You know, and it's your neighbor, and he's wanting to eat. He wants to get a loaf of bread, but you are just like, uh, go away. I don't want to answer the door. But this little, but this neighbor is not giving up. This neighbor is just knocking on that door, and he, this neighbor is determined. It wants something. It wants to eat. It wants that bread. And so I was like, God, I am that neighbor. I'm going to keep knocking on that door because sooner or later you're going to get tired and that door will open, <laughs> you know, because God has a sense of humor. So it's just talking with them and I'm like, and I know that that door will open. So I'm going to keep knocking. I'm going to keep banging on it and I'm going to be, I'm, I'm determined, you know, I have faith that I'm going to keep seeking. I'm going to seek. I'm going to seek. I'm going to find. I'm going to ask. It, it will be given to me. But not in my timing, in his timing. He has a reason. He has a purpose for everything. So even though we may not understand it, maybe we, we can feel as if God has shunned us, but he hasn't. He hasn't shunned us, praise the Lord. He doesn't do that. You know, it's the enemy that causes us to think that, to think those things. So, anyway... Let me um, share with you this word. So I was in prayer. And um, I was in prayer and I heard, Come, Amber is with us. I'm like, 
And then I, I heard a bunch of other stuff too, but I think, I don't, I don't know, the other stuff doesn't make sense, so I'm not focusing on that. I just, I, I just scribbled it out because it just, it got me confused. So, though I'm seeking God, you know, there is a deceiver out there. And he will try to interrupt and confuse our messages. So it's very important to test the spirit. Test what you are hearing because the devil is trying to communicate with us too. Because there is so much darkness in this world that that open line of communication is here. And they're here. You know, and it's just God is protecting me and I am seeking after him. But there is an interference during this call, basically, because it, it is. It's like I'm calling. I'm calling out to the Lord. I'm calling him. But there is an interference that doesn't want me to hear what God has to say to me. But he cannot interfere with the word he can interfere the devil can interfere by speaking into me and me hearing voices but he can't interfere with the word of god so i did hear from the lord and i tested it and I, he led me to scripture to back this up so it was real short like i said it said come amber is with us I'm like what are you saying like Amber is with us like I had no idea so what I was getting is like God is saying like that Amber is with us Amber is with us that when that Amber will be with us you know it may not look like it but it, it, this, this is basically encouragement because I have been sharing with you all that Amber, my stepdaughter, you know, how she has fallen away, how she has, you know, done um, his rebellious, but I've been praying against that. And, you know, there has been peace in this house with her and I. And though we ran into some kind of... Uh, Something happened recently this week, but I'm not allowing it to affect me because I know who my God is. And I'm not looking to my problem. I'm looking to my God who is bigger and who is capable to do anything he wants with this situation. So I trust fully in him. And so... I just felt really comforted with this, that Amber is with us, that Amber, you know, when, that she will be with us in heaven. And so I'm going to lead you to some scripture God gave me. And the first one I was led to was Psalm. Actually, you know what? I have the Bible open on Isaiah 40. I'm just going to read you Isaiah 40 right now. It doesn't make sense to go to a different one when it's on one. So he led me to two. And it's Isaiah 40, 1 to 11. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. Tell her that her sad days are gone and her sins are pardoned. Yes, the Lord had punished her twice over for all her sins. Listen to the voice of someone shouting, Clear the way through the wilderness for the Lord. Make a straight highway through the wasteland for our God. Fill in the valleys and level the mountains and hills. Straighten the curves and smooth out the rough places. Then the glory of the Lord will be revealed. And all people will see it together. The Lord has spoken. The voice said, Shout! I asked, What should I shout? Shout that people are like the grass. Their beauty 
fades as quickly as the flowers in a field. The grass withers and the flowers fade beneath the breath of the Lord. And so it is with people. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. O Zion, messenger of good news, shout from the mountaintops, shout it louder, O Jerusalem, shout and do not be afraid. Tell the towns of Judah, your God is coming. Yes, the Sovereign Lord is coming in power. He will rule with a powerful arm. See, He brings His reward with Him as He comes. He will feed His flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in His arms, holding them close to His heart. He will gently lead the mother sheep with their young. Praise the Lord. That last verse, I mean, think of the word that I heard. Come, Amber is with us. I'm Amber's stepmom. Her real mother is in heaven. But verse 11 says, He will feed his flock like a shepherd, because that is us. We are his flock. He will carry the lambs in his arms. He's going to carry us home. Holding them close to his heart. He will gently lead the mother sheep. And, you know, those who are, who, who are, who are, are mothers out there, you know, he was, he's going to lead us with their young, you know? And so it's like spiritually, I, I'm like her spirit mom. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm a spiritual, um, I'm her stepmom. But for God to lead me to this verse, it's, um, it pretty much just confirms what he was saying is he's saying that Amber is with us. He's, you know, she's going to be okay. And I don't know why I was given that word, but um, it is comforting because I know, brothers and sisters, that you have family, that you know people who are rebellious, who have turned their back away from the Lord. And, and, um, just keep praying, you know, your prayers do not go void. He hears them, he loves them, he's going to bless them. But it's in his timing and trust that his timing is perfect. He wishes and he doesn't want nobody to perish, but all to have everlasting life. To spend all eternity in heaven with Jesus, with our Father is such a beautiful, beautiful, glorious, I can't, I mean, I'm just waiting for that day, you know, nobody knows the day or hour, but we know that it is close, and to keep praying for your loved ones that are not saved, because in his timing, they will be, they will be, and so I'm going to we go to Psalm 69, 19-36. Okay. It says, You know of my shame, scorn, and disgrace. You see all that my enemies are doing. Their insults have broken my heart, and I am in despair. If only one person would show some pity, if only one would turn and comfort me. But instead, they give me poison for food. They offer me sour wine for my thirst. Let the bountiful table set before them become a snare, and their prosperity become a trap. Let their eyes go blind so they cannot see, 
and make their bodies shake continually. Pour out your fury on them. Consume them with your burning anger. Let their homes become desolate and their tents be deserted. To the one you have punished, they add insult to injury. They add to the pain of those you have hurt. Pile their sins up high and don't let them go free. Erase their names from the book of life. Don't let them be counted among the righteous. I am suffering and in pain. Rescue me. Rescue me, O God, by your saving power. Then I will praise God's name with singing, and I will honor him with thanksgiving. For this will please the Lord more than sacrificing cattle, more than presenting a bull with its horns and hoofs. The humble will see their God at work and be glad. Let all who seek God's help be encouraged. For the Lord hears the cries of the needy. He does not despise his imprisoned people. Praise him, O heaven and earth, the seas and all that move in them. For God will save Jerusalem and rebuild the towns of Judah. His people will live there and settle in their own land. The descendants of those who obey him will inherit the land, and those who love him will live there in safety. Hmm. All right, and so I pray that those that that scripture blessed you, that both of those blessed you. Um, as you can see, the end part, it talked about that, about the descendants. And the Bible tells us that God will give us a new heart, but also he will give our descendants a new heart, which means that not only, I mean, the promises of the Lord is that not only will he save us, but he will save our descendants, you know, just keep praying and God will do it. I just, I know it because he is a faithful Lord. He is a faithful God and he is a merciful and gracious Father. And he will bless the prayers. He will bless the prayers that we pray. He will bless them abundantly. He hears them, you know keep praying there is so much power in prayer that is why the enemy he is after us so bad he is after us and wants to tear us down because he wants to make us become weak because when we are weak he he assumes that we will not look to god that when we are weak, we were, we're going to cry about it. We're going to be in pity about it. We're going to just, uh, I don't feel good, you know. And that we're not going to rise up like the warrior that is inside of us because greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. And we know who is in this world. And so he wants us to become weak and to think that we, are, we don't have any strength. But that is not true. Because the Bible says that when we are weak, then we are strong. But it's not by the strength of our own. It is by the, the strength of God Almighty. Because then, when we are made strong, something happens. Something, there is a shift in the atmosphere around us. We become a lion. <laughs> we become a lion and we our claws become sharp and we just, we just tear it up for real we tear it up in the spiritual world for real so you have to just seek God so if you are getting attacked it's because he doesn't the enemy wants you to become weak so you do not pray that is how much power there is in prayer because when you're I mean e even even if you are weak just pray Push through it. Don't look at it. Be careful what you speak over yourself. Be careful what you speak over your family, over your children. 
because there is power. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. We need to be careful what we speak. We need to speak life and positive things over ourselves and over our loved ones because those lies can come and filter us so easily so easily we can slip into that and we can get we can feed on those lies and we can become weak and you know and feel hopeless you know so so, much, so many people out there are truly have lost hope and i just we just need to pray brothers and sisters we need to pray and even those who have become weak that have not seemed to have gotten strong and like i said it's not by our strength we look to the father to give us what we need we need to ask proclaim it speak it with our mouths what we need say god fill me with the strength that i need to get through today don't worry about tomorrow tomorrow will come when it comes don't worry about yesterday. You can't do anything about the past. So don't keep going back there. Let's move forward. Let's go look to God. Let's move in, in Jesus' way. <laughs> in that straight and narrow path. Let's stay on it, you know. If you slipped and fallen, okay. But get up and keep fixing your eyes on the Lord. Do not take your eyes off Jesus. Something is happening. I'm getting so many, so much quickening in my spirit today. After work, I'm on the way home, and it was like my spirit jumped. It just, it's, it, there's like a quickening, an, an awakening is happening. And I believe more and more people are waking up. I believe God is answering our prayers and that more and more people are waking up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He has he's doing something mighty and the enemy wants to destroy it, but he is not going to. So, all right, that's it. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you all so much and I pray um I pray for all of you daily that God's hand and protection is upon you and that he will keep evil away from you you know and we know it's just going to get worse but praise the Lord that Jesus can give us that peace so seek him for all things seek him for that peace and uh, that's it so I love you guys bye